Oh man. Okay, so sorry that the lighting kind of sucks and the angle and everything might suck. But uh, I'm not feeling good and I'm kind of bored and I have nothing better to do. So I decided to make a video about me being sick. Um, so first off, this is like the first time I've ever been sick and like all by myself. Like I've usually been like with family or like a friend or something like when I get sick. So I have someone to like not necessarily take care of me, but just like go get stuff for me. They already have stuff on hand that I need. So like it's been pretty convenient, but like I don't really know anybody still down here in the city. Um, so it's kind of weird for me. Uh, I do have a family friend that lives down here. She lives like five minutes away, and luckily she went and got me some stuff last night. Because, like, I don't have ginger ale, because I only drink it when I'm sick. I don't know who drinks ginger ale regularly. That just seems weird to me. But hey, everyone's different. Um, let's see. So let's start off with the incident. So today's Tuesday. I'll probably be uploading this video later when I have free timer. When I feel better or whatnot, we'll see what happens, see how the rest of the week goes. But yeah, today's Tuesday, so this happened last night, like, I felt kind of weird, like, going into work. I thought it was just, like, my mind, or, like, my anxiety or something, so I was just like, uh, you'll get over it, like, and work was, like, going fine, I was, like, enjoying it and everything, I was getting orders out and everything, and, uh, my stomach started to hurt, and, like, I felt like I was gonna throw up, and it was kind of faint, it wasn't, like, super strong. And as the night, like, progressed on, like, it just got worse. So I told my boss, I was like, hey, I was like, I don't feel that good. But I was like, I can stay because I feel like it's just, like, going to go away or whatever. Just kind of ignore it. He's like, all right. And then, um, I think, like, around 6.30, like, it got really bad. And, like, I started getting, like, kind of nauseated and I just didn't feel good. And he wasn't feeling that good either. But, uh. And, like, I guess other people weren't feeling that good either at work. I guess it was all kinds of different stuff. But, like, I just was like, hey, I'm like, it's getting worse. Because he was like, he's like, he was like telling me to focus on the orders and stuff. Because, like, we were getting slammed um, with customers and stuff. So I was, like, trying to get the food out as quick as I can. Like, running back and forth. Like, making the enchiladas, putting them in the oven and all that. And I was just like, I'm not feeling good. Like, sorry, I'm just kind of out of it. And, like, it just got worse, and I suddenly was just like, I can't do this anymore, and I ran to the back, the very back way from the food and everything where I knew it would be safer, and I just threw up into the trash, and so he's like, hey, I'm gonna check, or sign you out, you just go home, so I was like, alright, so I am just like, oh great, I better not freaking get sick, so I walk out the back door, and then, I don't know, it just hit me again, and I just freaking projectile vomited all over the gravel and crap outside. It was disgusting. It came out my nose. It was gross. And sorry for being so graphic, it's just, I, the full picture and everything. So I freaking, like, stumble home. Luckily, like, I don't live too far away from my work. So I stumble home. I'm like, yo, mom, you'll never guess what freaking happened. And then, like, she's like, oh, that would probably just be your nerves or something and everything. So I was like, yeah. And then, like, after that, like, I threw up again in my apartment, like, I just felt worse. And pretty much as the night progressed, like, within an hour after coming home from work, I apparently had contracted the flu somehow. And apparently it's, like, going around. So that was pretty sucky. So, like I said, I called my family friend, had her bring me some stuff over. And I had such a miserable night last night, and I was in so much pain that I literally couldn't sleep. I was just, like, suffering so much. Like, my stomach just hated me. I was like, you know, I'm just going to drink some ginger ale to, like, calm my stomach down. You know, just sip on it and stuff. My stomach freaking got pissed, and it let me know at all hours of the night. It was coming out both ends. I was just miserable. So, yeah, last night was a little rough for me. Like, I probably only got, like, three four hours of sleep last night, I don't know, I tried to sleep until like a little bit this morning, but it just, I don't know, it was just a mess, I was a mess last night, um, and luckily like I'm feeling a little bit better, like I'm still weak and tired, I still have bathroom issues and everything, I have like a faint fever, I have no appetite really, but I don't know, it's just weird like being on my own and getting sick and not really like 
like not having my mom or like someone to help me out, like take care of me. I don't know. Most people call it the man flu because like there's like this thing where it's like when guys get sick, they want their wife or their mom or whatever to take care of them. And for me, it's true because it's like my mom freaking knows what she's doing. Like she freaking could get me cured like super quick. It's like my dad, not so much. Like I remember one time, like I think like third or fourth grade. I literally was like, he was like trying to give me stuff and I was like, no, just take me back home to mom and she can take care of me and stuff. I don't know. I've always been kind of a mama's boy too, which there's nothing wrong with that. And especially since I don't really trust my dad since one time his nephew, I don't remember why I had, I think it was allergies. I don't remember. But his freaking nephew gave me a Sudafed and then he gave me an Alka-Seltzer and that like effed my stomach up and I freaking threw up everywhere and felt like crap. And just looking back on it and thinking about it now, it's like, what kind of combination is that? Like, who would mix those two things together? It was just ridiculous. But anyway, so that's my story. I felt really bad because at school, it's like there's only like a couple of us. And we like help run the restaurant now at school for my class and I can't be there to help. So I kind of felt bad about that. Plus, I believe if I miss a day of school, my letter grade, or my grade drops a whole letter grade. So I'm kind of nervous about that. And then I felt bad at work, or for not being able to go to work today, because it's like, it's like I know they could use my help too. So I don't know, it's like hard as an adult, I guess, being sick, because like, you have crap you need to do, or like, obligations, and it's like, I don't know, and everyone might not feel that way, um, like, really care that much about that stuff, but I kind of do. Um, you know, it's not like being sick when you're, a teenager or like a high schooler and whatnot, it's like you freaking stay home on the couch all day and you either have one of your parents or like just someone like come check up on you every now and then and you just watch a movie or watch Netflix or whatever. It's like you just kind of chill all day and have someone kind of close by or just on call by, stand by, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still kind of out of it too. Like I woke up from a nap and I freaking texted a weird thing about what I do for work and I was just like went back and looked at it and I was like I'm sorry that was probably a super weird message I'm out of it but yeah so I have the flu I, I'll call it the man flu because I want my mom <laughs> and she feels bad she can't be here she lives like two two and a half hours away she has work too so she feels bad but she's still trying to help me out and stuff so but I'm hoping I get better soon and I survive this because I just watched a cure for wellness like this weekend and I feel like I'm in that like just like with the vomiting and just the illness and all the crazy crap and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's my week so far. My week start started out great. I mean the one week I cut my finger at work and got that all jacked up and then this week I get the freaking flu and I'm miserable. So thanks for watching this video. Sorry if this was super graphic or anything like I just wanted you to get a good mental image, I guess, and kind of understand how it was for me. Um, feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And have a great rest of the day, week, whatever. Um, hopefully I get better soon. Bye.